watch the 1960 adaptation of House of Usher. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, Vincent Price? It right? is. It is yeah. uh, Vincent Price and Mark Damon. But it's written by Richard Matheson. The screenplay was. And it's one of those Roger Corman movies. It was really the first of like the seven Poe adaptations he did. Um, one of which was actually a Lovecraft that he used a Poe title on. I, I wanted to revisit it because I, you know, recently watched the series that Mike Flanagan did, and it's still my favorite of all the Poe adaptations Corman did. He gets high rankings for like Hitting the Pendulum and Mask of the Red Death, but this one I think it's the higher ones. If it doesn't, it's my highest. Okay, and I only saw this movie back in the day, late at night and probably heavily edited and like bad prints. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the print I saw on Turner classic movies was just gorgeous. And I was like, I don't remember this movie looking so pretty. It was shot in color. It was done in CinemaScope, which was new for Corman. Yeah. Because someone jabbed him with like, you know, instead of, using this money for two movies why don't you just make one good one one good one (laughs) he was known for uh producing movies on the cheap this Mm -hmm. one was directed by him as i said it stars vincent price mark damon berna fahey and harry ellerby and it is basically just a gorgeous set with vincent price and mark damon running around from talking (laughs) there's not a lot of action but there are some scares you know madeline being at you know, imprisoned alive in the basement or whatever. But it was good nostalgic fun, and I would recommend it, especially if you can find the print I saw with it does not have lead books. Wow. Yeah, I want to see it again. That sounds interesting. I, I really, I remember enjoying it. I remember liking it because it reminded me of like almost a hammer feel to it it was very 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 saturated color very gothic surroundings um big screen vincent Um, is really strong in it doing his he is and i always remembered him as having white hair in this movie but now that i've seen a good print of it it's actually blonde Mm, okay yeah all right i remember how every little sound would magnify in his head you know yeah it hurt him yeah yes yeah yeah and there's a, there's a term for that. One of my podcasts that I listen to, I've started using that when they get really upset, especially with its use in horror movies. There's a a term for hi- now for hypersensitivity to sound, like people eating, or, you know, it's like the anti-ASMR or whatever. Or, That's funny. Dennis and, always tells me I smack when I'm eating, and it drives him crazy. You eat like that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I think that. Start the car, Johnny has the keys.